Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Elgin American automatic petrol lighter advertising Citroen Automobile Company. I'm not sure that that's the proper pronunciation, but Wikipedia only told me the proper pronunciation in French, which I don't speak, so I couldn't exactly figure out how to read that. Citroën, Citroën, some some uh, variation of that. I'm not sure of the model of the automobile. Kind of uh, out there, a little bit oddly shaped and uh, futuristic looking. But anyway, the lighter itself, very cool, compact, seems a little familiar and looks similar but to some other lighters you might be familiar with, but um, I think you'll see that this one operates in some ways that are entirely different. This lighter shows wear, scuffs, corrosion, dings, dents. I believe it is made out of brass. Sort of a brushed brass finish on most of it. And high polish finish on the sides, the bottom, and the mechanism on the top, and the brush finish along with the engraving to give the effect of the automobile and the logo. So a pretty cool lighter with some uh, pretty neat little graphics there kind of looks holographic or 3D. The lighter to me resembles the Ronson Adonis and many flat ad lighters and apparently Elgin American had some legal troubles with Ronson before this lighter came out. But according to the Toledo Bend BCL site, Elgin American began making this 400 model lighter in the early to mid 1950s. It has a curious actuating mechanism in that it slides off the top and leaves the bottom as the tank. If you enjoy watching videos about old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms please subscribe to the channel please like the video you're watching tell your friends about the channel hit the share button send that link off in a text email post it on social media however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays and let them get a look at it for themselves you can leave any comments or questions below the video. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like Dependable Flame and DependableFlame.com across all the social media platforms. That'll be Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay. As you can see, this mechanism is just riveted together. So I did the video where I drilled out the 
flint tube and so we know how to make that repair it still wasn't sparking real well and without being able to take it apart I just filed or brushed the file wheel with a soft brass brush I'm sure it did some damage to the finish here but I just didn't really know what else to do um, the next thing if it doesn't start sparking any better will be just to go line by line pushing out all the old debris but I just wanted to make this video as I am in the midst of using this lighter to show all the differences there so it is put together just riveted together I don't see any way that you're gonna get that apart without ruining it you also have the flint mechanism similar to the Bentley butane and that it is just a little short tube right underneath the wheel and then a little arm spring holding it there's also a piece of rubberized or plastic something here fitted onto the actuating mechanism assembly that is going to be the top of the lighter and the purpose of that rubberized piece is to inhibit evaporation of your fuel it's sealing the tank that's a pretty good idea I don't know how effective it is but it's um, at least with vintage lighter collectors today that's something that I believe most will appreciate if they don't already know about it there's so many of them that are concerned about fuel economy it might make the Elgin American a good everyday carry lighter for those that are concerned with how much fuel they're wasting so anyway I don't know I'm not gonna take this one apart if I ever get one that is already damaged then I might try to drill it out and just see what could be done but this one seems to be working okay other than it doesn't light real well only sparks about three quarters of the time as well as it should and then doesn't light even when it sparks really uh, as efficiently as I believe it should but it could still be re-wicked and a few other things it's got the old I think it's probably an asbestos wick out look how stiff that wick is so we may have some more videos coming on this lighter make sure that you get over to eBay and check out the dependableflame.com store every purchase that you make there will benefit HDSA Huntington's Disease Society of America with at least 10% of each purchase benefiting HDSA and we also have three penny start auctions each month where 100 percent of those listings the proceeds of those listings go to the charity high bidder pays the money gets the lighter I provide free shipping and everybody is happy charity gets all the money when I was doing the repair video I said I thought maybe that was the opal automobile and I I did a little bit of research and in the Wikipedia listing for the automobile company it's been around for a long time over a hundred years and apparently at one point was trying to make an entry into the US market I don't know if that ever happened some of their cars look like VW's and others kinda look like Jaguars apparently at one point the company owned Maserati
when you're over at eBay make sure that you follow and like us whichever it is that you do there so that you get the notifications each time those new listings come up also here on YouTube make sure you hit the bell so you get the notification in your inbox each time we publish a new video which just so you know will be Monday through Friday 8 a.m. Central holidays included I normally take Saturday and Sunday off unless there's something that I just need to get out there until next time